mind-blowing. Michelle's anti-obesity program is coming back to haunt her in a most surprising way. Indeed, even the best laid plans can go amiss. The ineffectively laid ones? All things considered, it's a given that they will, in the end, go up on fire and metastasize into an unmitigated failure. Another ideal example of that has become visible, and it comes affability of one of previous First Lady Michelle Obama's mark activities. She put in her eight years in the White House advancing an anti-obesity agenda, which included compelling children to exercise while giving them a crust of bread and glass of water for their school lunches. Presently, the most recent report demonstrates that her program is causing issues down the road for her in a most surprising way. Via Daily Caller The Obama administration's anti-obesity programs apparently didn't work as percentages of overweight and obese children continue to rise. Despite CNN's 2015 report to the contrary, obesity has steadily risen between 1999 and 2016, according to Pediatrics Journal. With a specific end goal to achieve their discoveries, the creators inspected information from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey that was led by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. What they found was out and out mind blowing. Researchers at Virginia Tech found that poorer children who ate free meals at school provided by the government were more likely to become overweight. While well intentioned, these government funded school meal programs that are aimed at making kids healthy are in fact making participating students more at risk of being overweight, Dr. Wen Yu, a professor at Virginia Tech who authored the research, said in a statement. Moreover, there has been a dramatic impact on statinous rates on more youthful youngsters as of late. The creators note that kids between the ages of 2 and 5 have showed a sharp increase in obesity prevalence from 2015 to 2016 compared with the previous cycle. The previous FLOTUS invested a huge amount of time and resources, otherwise known as our citizen cash, executing her plan and she touted it as the best thing since cut bread each possibility she got. As the investigation appears, she was uncontrollably off the mark. This by and by demonstrates that government ought to never be in the matter of advising parents how to raise their youngsters. Parents and teachers know a hell of significantly more in raising their own than the federal government. Gratefully a significant number of Michelle's projects are leaving. Whatever I can state is, the sooner the better. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for reading. For reading.